Good morning, my fellows. We going to uh, shift our focus back to Llama.cpp and getting this thing um, inferring even faster. Now, inferring is just the word that uh, is used for uh, putting text in there, having it process it, and then give something back to us. So, Llama.cpp, of course, is so good because it works so easily, so fast. Uh, of course, a lot of it's from the command line, you know, so there's a little bit of learning with that, but... Uh, um, it makes it so you can rock that stuff into code too. So um, what we're going to focus on is doing our NVIDIA builds. This video is really going to be more for you people with the CUDA uh, installed on your machine with your awesome NVIDIA cards and all that. But before we get into it, go ahead and hit that like button and share it because it really does help. So first thing as usual we want to do is we want to rock on over to the internet here and uh, we're going to go to the llama.cpp page. If you remember how we do that is we're just going to type llama.cpp git. All right. And that's going to bring up a link for GitHub where we keep um, most of uh, where you're going to find all these repositories. So we want the one that says Gurganov. So we're going to click on that bad boy and scroll down. Okay. And we're going to be looking for the instructions, just like we did the last time. If you need uh, to get going on your basic, getting your system up and running, go check out my other video, and that's going to help you uh, get all of your core system going. So we're going to um, see, the first thing we want to do is get the code. So let's go ahead and we're going to copy this. Okay. And then let's get over to our, do, 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 do. Oh, give you a little preview there, didn't I? Uh, let's get over to our terminal. And so from here, we're just going to paste that in there. It's going to get clone that. Now that's going to create a folder called llama.cpp. It shouldn't take that long to download it, but this is going to be all the files. Now with these files, they're not going to work exactly the, um, just out of the box we have to build them so this is uh, why we need a C compiler and what we're going to end up using is something called C make but you'll see that here in a minute let's pop on back to the internet and uh, now that we've done that we're going to see we're going to have a bunch of different build mates so the last time we did it we used make okay and so there's the directions for that we downloaded the W64 dev kit we're not going to do that though uh, we're going to use C make and then we're not going to have to bother with the W64 dev kit right at the moment. Um, but we don't want to just follow this through because as we scroll down here, you're going to see that there are a bunch of different um, ways to create this thing. Okay, <clears throat> Metal builds or blast builds, we can talk about those another time. And then we want to get down to our CUDA build. Okay, So this is what we're going to end up um, using is we're going to go to use CMake. Because I'm going to tell you, the with just the make option, it works really good when we're building our normal llama.cpp. It gets a little bit more complicated once we're doing the NVIDIA stuff. It gives the instructions there. I have errors running it quite often, but not with CMake. So we're going to go ahead and use that. So before we do that, what we have to do is we need to make sure we have downloaded CMake. So Let's go over to here, and what we're going to do is, do is type in CMake download. Okay? Going to bring us up. Just click that bad boy. I'm going to scroll down now. What it's giving us is some source distributions, which means that you can, <coughs> you can make the make file itself. We're not going to do that. What we want to do is just grab our Windows installer. Okay? Um, look at it. It even has installers for Linux, so if you're doing it that way, it's great. Um, why bother? I mean, honestly, why bother with the source codes? Because if you're doing a project where you're packaging software and giving it off to somebody and uh, you want to make sure that it's there, then then you could mess around with the source and making sure it gets built and, and change it in particular ways. But guys, like, why are we bothering with that? That's not where we're at. That's not what we need. I mean, I guess it's kind of a flex if you can do it, but there's so much uh, other stuff that we need to spend our time on that uh, silly so let's just go ahead and we go and click that uh, Windows installer okay so now we're gonna pop on over here after it downloads open it up and there you go 
Welcome to CMake Setup Wizard. So really easy. Go click Next. Okay, accept the terms. All right, now this is important. We're going to click this Add CMake to our Path Environment Variables. So this is important because the when applications are going to be calling for CMake, it has to know where it goes. This is why often you get, might get errors in all sorts of different applications where it says, I can't find FFmpeg or can't find the CMake or whatever. It's because um, unless you're actually in that directory, it doesn't, uh, you can't execute the file you need. So instead what we do is we put it into an environmental variable, environment meaning your system, okay, and a variable, so a variable that's environment wide, it works with the system, so that then when we type CMake, we don't have to be in the directory where CMake.exe is, the system goes, um, goes through these variables, goes, oh, well here is a CMake that's, uh, that's over here, and so that must be what he's talking about. And so it clicks it over there. So we want to make sure that it has that on there. And then, of course, go through your uh, your stuff. Well, I typically like to put my CMake on the C drive, all this kind of stuff, because if you ever do need to go in there and set variables by yourself, then you're not going into program files and all this other stuff. As well, if you ever have to use uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux, the WSL and this kind of stuff, when you get into long file names and spaces, it causes issues. So what I do is my core stuff, like my CMakes, my FFmpegs, that kind of stuff, put it on the C drive. Then if I have to tap, tap, tap it in terminal, real easy to get to. Okay, so go ahead and change that. You can do all that. We're not going to install it on mine because it's already installed. But what you will find is that... Um, that... Uh, you'll be able to use it. So now if we rock back to our terminal, we are if we uh, we want to get into our directory, we can type dir and see that it downloaded this uh, llama.cpp. So let's go ahead and cd into that. cd means change directory. Okay, now we're in there. We type dir and you can see all the files. They're ready to be built. Okay, and there's our CMake list. These are what the CMake program is going to look at and say, this is how it's supposed to build. These are the instructions that come with it. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to uh, roll this down and type CLS. Oh, CLS. That's going to clear the screen. Okay. Let's go back to our instructions real quick. And, uh, whoop, doop, doop, and let's go over here. So uh, this is really easy. This is the CUDA one that we want. This will help um, make our speed up our llama.cpp even more. So this is really easy. We're going to go ahead um, and uh, copy this over. Let's go back to our terminal window, paste this bad boy in. Okay, and it's going to basically what it's doing is it's modifying our um, our build instructions. Okay, so it's going to sit here and do this for just a minute. Do, do, do. Meanwhile, right? okay, so there it's done. Now, if we go back over to here, you're going to find that we have this next instruction. This is going to be the actual one to build it, okay? So, going back over to here, we will go ahead and control V it and hit enter. Now, it's going to go ahead and start to build this thing. Now, this is a long process, okay, because it's actually uh, building all of the files you need. It's building the EXEs, it's building the drivers, it's building everything. So this is uh, in computer science when you're creating stuff and you're packaging it, um, this kind of stuff is going on. Like when you use your Windows uh, installers, even when we installed CMake itself, uh, it's going to obviously come with things like this that it's creating, it's installing, it's putting it into places. Um, so uh, the size, you know, doubles up. This is how they keep the size down. This is how they also have intelligent uh, code in there that um, you can get dynamic scripts so that it's actually looking at each particular machine and deciding what it needs to do. So this is going to take like 15 minutes, maybe uh, longer. It's a big build. So we're just going to hit pause here and we'll be back when it's done and basically be done with the video we'll just go ahead and I'm going to show you a few things they changed some stuff from our last build um, uh, on how to run it so I'll walk you through that really quick but uh, 
hang in there. We'll be right back. And like I said, in the meantime, hit the like button and share it. But uh, we'll be right back with you. Okay, we are done. And that actually took quite a while. That was about a 30-minute build there. So I got a pretty fast computer. So uh, if uh, it might take you a little bit longer, too, on there. So, But we're ready to go. But I need to show you a few things. In our last tutorial, what we was able to do... Let's clear the screen here was we could just type uh, main that was the one that worked but they've changed that okay so this isn't just a uh, CUDA build thing uh, all the builds now have changed the location of how to run this thing so what here's what we're going to do if we type dir uh, forward slash ad that's called a forward slash because it's leaning forward you see backslash would be leaning backwards so uh, go ahead and type drad and what that's going to do is show us um, Come on, it's gonna show us all the directories. So here's what they do. This is actually a good tip because most um, things that get built, this is how they, uh, this is where they put them. So they're gonna be in this build directory. So we're gonna go CD build, okay? And then we can go DIR slash AD again. Then they're gonna be in this bin folder, okay? So CD bin. Okay, now we can go DIR slash P. That's gonna show a list of everything, but put a pause. Oh. There it is. We want release. We need another one. Okay, so they've drilled it pretty far down into here. So we'll go dir slash p, and then that's going to show us everything. Okay, this is the one we're going to be looking for. Llama dash cli. So in other words, main.exe is now llama dash cli. When you're going to be working with um, your, uh, uh, what do you call them, the, the ones that actually that take a photo and can describe it to you, you're going to be using this one, Llama Lava dash CLI. So let's show you how this works. Let this roll through. Um, normally in the past we would have typed main dot M. Instead this time we're going to type Llama dash CLI. Okay, fair enough. Dash M and then that dash M shows again the model. It says it's the model we're going to use. I've gone ahead and set one up for us uh, here. Oh, I thought that I had. Hold on just a second no momento. okay and so we have uh, you remember you got to go to your folder and you got to find a location of a model so now instead of typing main what we're going to do is type llama dash cli dash m that tells us that we're going to be using a model and we're going to put the location of the model we're using now they've changed something else as well uh, now put dash cnv this is going to put it into conversation mode so you can actually go back and forth with it um they made a lot of little changes here and then last we're going to type this ngl uh that's our nvidia graphic layers and we'll just put 99 if your system crashes lower it down to say like 32 or something like that figure out how many layers your card has but 99 should um, be like a number that says just use it all so now we'll just go ahead and hit this bad boy notice it didn't work um what did it say? Oh, it's because I misspelt it, so we'll go back. Lame is what I wrote. Okay, there you go. Now it's going to go, and you're going to see how fast this goes. This is actually using our thing, so I'm going to say, Hi there! And it'll take a second to load up the model, uh, but then it's going to, oh, it'll start kicking through. I've actually got a lot going on in my system. So it's doing this because actually I'm on my video. So hold on just a second. Okay, so that was going a bit slow because I'm running my AI software with the videos too. But you can see uh, um, it just kicks through here. Uh, what about cats is great in your opinion. Let's see if it'll do it now. Let's load it up a bit. Yeah, and you can see how fast that's going. Okay, so, um, and then of course you can use your, um, parameters to change that up uh, and make the make it not send out so much input and that kind of stuff and all that good stuff but there you go uh, we have successfully downloaded CMake installed it did a CUDA build so the other video that we did will make a build that will work good as well too this will give you just a little bit more of an edge if you got your NVIDIA graphics card um, and uh, hey if you have any you want to find other models um, speak to me. I'll help you find some good chat stuff. 
unbiased models that make it a lot more enjoyable. And uh, anyway, it is Sunday, so go out there, enjoy your day, be good, and we is going to catch you on the next side.